Hi guys, I'm back. I'm so sorry I've been away for a week or so. Um, I have been catching up on all of your videos and uh, this is kind of a bits of video uh, with lots of different things that we're going to be doing to catch up on a few things. And then I have some really cool, exciting videos planned to film um, after this as well. So I just wanted to say, sorry if it's a little bit darker here, I had to change my ring light. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing a few things in this video. So as you know, this channel is all about budgeting, setting up your family, uh, setting up, you know, yourselves um, for a wealthy financial future. Also to get your budgeting in check and kind of keep a track of your spending a little bit more and sort of actively thinking a little bit more about where each dollar goes. So I do the zero budget, a uh, zero base budget, give every dollar a purpose and a job and do it in the way of cash stuffing in categories in particular binders for particular parts of our lives that need funding. So feel, please subscribe, follow our journey. Um, we do follow mostly um, Dave Ramsey and the seven steps, uh, baby steps. So, and we are currently on step three at the moment, um, hoping to have that finished by the end of this year or perhaps next year. Uh, and then we will be diversifying everything a little bit with investments, mortgage, kids future, um, and setting up our lives that way. So there's a lot, um, I'm hoping you stick around with me for many, many years to come. So today, um, so first of all, I'm back. Sorry, I feel like I've been gone ages, but um, I think it's been like 10 days or so since my last upload, which I know is crazy and I know you guys miss it. And I'm so, so sorry. First of all, I was really, really sick with the flu. Um, but I had a couple of videos whilst I was sick for the flu to still upload, so it was okay. But then um, I, right as I was starting to get better, was the day before then we were going away for a week <laughs> on holiday. And I can't really film this when I'm away. So I thought, look, just let's just have a little break for a second. You know, that's the main thing, just to recover. And then um, a few days into our holiday, my daughter got really sick with, she is still really sick with um, tonsillitis. And kids generally, when they seem to get the flu, I've noticed they don't really get seem to get as sick as the, us. I don't know why, immune systems or whatever. But this is the first time she's been really sick, like um, high fever. And I think it's the bacterial tonsillitis she has. Um, so she, we've got a round of antibiotics for her now. And um, yeah, just fever. Probably, you know, she's lost weight because she's not eating. It's hard to keep things down. So we're just giving her whatever, basically, whatever she can eat. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not getting worse. But um, I'll let you know uh, in a couple of weeks because I bulk film um, how everything's going or through our chats. So with this video, um, yeah, so we just finished our holiday. So I'm actually going to, we'll see how I go, attempt to put in some videos from our holiday as well at the end of this video. Uh, I don't edit. I'm just going to see how that goes. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's because I really couldn't <laughs> figure it out. Um, but I'm going to try or it didn't work or upload or something. We'll just see how it goes. But I'm sorry if it's not there. But yeah, I'll, I will put it in or maybe do a separate video just to chuck it up just so it's there. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyway, so in this video, so yeah, holiday. Just got back today. Um, so I have a few things to catch up on. I, this video will be uh, back to bank. I've got to get a lot of this cash in the bank um, just so it's it's earning some interest for me. Um, I also have my YouTube earnings to do on this video as well as starting restarting the coin challenge because this is getting quite full. Uh, and also to introduce a little bit of happy mail that I got um, with some new things in the binders. So stay tuned. Um, all right, so first of all, Let's just get some stuff back to the bank. So basically, just got a few notes, things here of what I've got to do. Oh, on a side note as well, this is just $50 also that I have. Because uh, actually it was my birthday, um, mid-end of March. So I now turned 38. So I don't know whether it's the budgeting or the age, but I keep feeling like semi have this little bit of panic financially, like about 
I don't know, not midlife crisis, I don't know, but like a panic. Uh, I've always had this thing of, um, I wish I'd done this earlier, and the best time obviously is now, but you know, you know, it's a mixture of being impatient, but also realizing when you look at things and things compound interest and thing developing, you're like, it's not that long and you're that age. And I always thought, you know, over 50 to me, you know, was getting older. <laughs> I'm sorry to everyone who's old, but that's what it, and when you think, you know, it's like when you're younger, you know, like my kids think, oh, you're probably 20 years old, you know, it, it's just like, as you get older, I don't know, I feel like that way, but it's just, Makes me think, oh, it's not that far away. But anyway, so that is why this is so important. So it's going to get everything in order. So this is just, uh, I got this from my mum. She also made me a beautiful birthday cake. Oh, I'll try and fit that into the pictures as well. So who knows what order they'll be in or even if they're on there, but I'll try my best. But um, yeah, so I wanted to put this $50 because I'm not sure what I'm going to spend it on yet. So I'm just going to put it into, um, hang on a minute, what's that there for? What, did I put that there for my birthday? Do you know what? I can't even remember. I can't even remember. Let's just put that in here because I know that's what that's for. So her spending. Uh, I'll just put that in my little envelope. So 100, 200, 250, 265 in there. So yeah, so I'll do that. Anyway, I'm digressing. So <laughs> let's do some unstuffing. Um, and getting some stuff back to the bank. So I have some, I have this here, which um, from Caroline at Caracash, um, just some representation, of course, of money that will be in the bank. So I have 3,000, 4,250 there. And I think I might need maybe one. Oh no, we'll see how we go. All right, so I need to get to, let's get my little notes and get through this. So. I've done kids' future, put that into the kids' future. So I took 2000 back to the bank already and I've put $2,000 prop holders in the kids' future. I'm going to do a separate video on this because I actually have all my new envelopes as well as dashboards and stuff in there I want to show you. But I'm going to do a separate video on that when I do my kids' future and Christmas binder stuff in. So I'll do that separate. Um, next one was seasons passes. Um, I took out. It's ready to go back to the bank already in my wallet. And we bought them, so we've used them. It was great. We went to SeaWorld, Movie World, um, went to yeah, Wet n Wild uh, today, no, yesterday. Um, and yeah, really, really, really good. Um, you know, it was hard to go, obviously. My daughter was sick and sort of went when she was feeling a bit better and then she got worse again. And anyway, so we did our best. Um, and it's funny when you get home, you're like, oh, I'm really glad to be home. So. To be honest, it's quite stressful on a holiday and we're not having another one till after Christmas. So I'm actually looking forward to sort of knuckling down here and maybe possibly now looking to doing some nice day trips, um, which because we live in such a beautiful area um, on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. So it's only five minutes to the beach and, um, you know, we're coastal and it's just a nice, you know, nice, it's like 26 degrees or 28 degrees and sunny every day at the moment, which is great. Um, it's pretty much will be like that now for the next, get a bit colder at winter, though I do feel the cold heaps here at winter now. Um, and then it'll get hotter maybe around November. Um, but yeah, the rest of the year is pretty much sunny in 26, on average 25 from now on. Degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit, because <laughs> that would be freezing. Um, all right, so kids future, season passes. All right, so I'm going to go to the medical binder. And we are going to put away orthodontics because this is kind of a slow burn of what we need. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, twenty. No, one fifty, one sixty, one seventy. Let's just. I'll take, won't take the newer one because it's kind of not that great. So I'll leave 170 in here and I'll take one, two, three, four, five. 
So I'll put a 500 in there. So 500, 670 in there. Then we have, oh gosh, what am I doing? I'll get in the swing of it. All right, so orthodontics, that's braces for the kids. To be honest, they're gonna need some complex braces and um, a bit worried for them. Um, yeah, and I'm a bit scared how much that's gonna be. I think it's gonna be like $20,000. So anyway, maybe more. We'll see how we go, but it's gotta be done. So let's just do it and use this way to do it. All right, so orthodontics, uh, $500 done. Then we just need, I think, I believe it's the car binder. Um, which is here. And we have car maintenance, because as you know, that has got heaps in it now. So that is up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's two thousand dollars exactly. In there. $2,000 in prop money in there. So I'll put all the, I've got these separate accounts for the binders and stuff in the bank with high interest. Um, so I'll put that in there. So $2,000 for car maintenance. Um, then we have car, I've missed one, Rego, car registration. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty. So $750. Um, so I'll go a five and a two fifty in there. So seven hundred and fifty in car registration. Um, so car rego, car maintenance, orthodontics, paid for season passes, kids future two thousand. That's already in there as prop. Um, I believe that's it. I think that's it probably others we could do but that's the majority of it and I'll just leave it at that so that is our back to the bank so we have back to the bank oh what did I have that for um oh that's gonna bum me out now oh sorry just remembered as I said, we keep it real on this channel. <laughs> um, and it was, I put an extra 60 in, just as some leftover money into, so season passes is empty because obviously we spent that. Uh, sports. So I needed 60 more to get this to the thousand. So I've already, um, I just did that off camera. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's um, in there. So that will be another. I knew I had the other. I did plan for all this. All right. So $1,000 in there into sports. So they will be due soon. So I'll have to I'll just pay it out the bank and then adjust from there. Uh, so we have sports there. So done. Plus that just consolidates the binder a little bit more. All right, so we have total now. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, so 4,100, 250, so perfect. So $4,250, we will be put in back to the bank. Even though that's an old note, it still, needs, it still belongs there. All right, so I'll just get a... Oh, gosh, I'm going there. All right, so $1,000. So $4,250. Or 752, I can't remember. Back to the bank. So that will go in there. Also, next, I did receive my YouTube payout, um, which I'm not spending yet because really I should be putting away around 37, 40% on tax. But um, 
I'm not yet. I'm just going to leave it all here, talk to the tax lady, and then maybe we can stuff this as a separate thing later. But I did earn 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, $155 is what I earned from YouTube, from you beautiful people, um, for, what was it? February. Yeah, February. So I've got January in there, which was I think 140 or something, and 155 for February. So that's awesome. I'll put that there and figure out what we're going to be using that for um, later at another time. So I really want to thank you guys all again for your support and it, to have that connection that we all have as a community is just amazing. I love seeing you new people that are starting out on um, recording and YouTube and and just we all support, support each other. So it's really, really great. And I'm really thankful I can be myself completely. And I probably watch a bit too much of the YouTube and I probably should stop and then be in the live in the moment a little bit more. So I think I need to be grounded a bit with that. So that's half your fault, guys. Um, stop putting out good content. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time out watching the ads hopefully they're good and appropriate and appropriate <laughs> um and just i guess being here to show me that i guess i don't know that perhaps i have something of value that i could offer to others and um if you can relate to me in any way or find any use of what i'm doing i don't know just give us a thumbs up and yeah just wanted to say thank you i won't ramble on but yeah i did want to say thank you very much very much okay and um, what was the last thing i wanted to do oh dashboards i'll do my coins at the end i'm going to start this coin challenge again but i'll do that but my dashboards so i got from the lovely um budget down under i'll put her link in the description i got her to make me some custom um dashboards uh, just for a couple of really meaningful binders and also just to separate a couple of other categories and things in binders. So as an example, I don't know which binders I got with what, but the reason that I did it and customized it a bit is it's just, you know, there's lots of cash stuffers out there and I just wanted to have something that was a bit unique um, to me and my channel. But obviously, you know, guys can order, you know, get ideas and stuff like that. But yeah, I just want to have something a little bit more uh, meaningful, you know, to me. And so as an example, um, where did I put it? This one. Oh, no, not that's the kid. Yeah, no, this one, kids binder, right? Okay, and fan, oh, no, not kids. I'll do the, I'll do this one, but I'll introduce this, this in another video. But I just wanted to show you the front cover. So this is one of the dashboards that I got and that I asked uh, to make for me. Just wanted to see this in film. Okay, so this is here which I think is super cute. I'm just going to zoom in for you. So this is my kitties. <laughs> so this is the Kids Future Binder, which I will go through to show you um, in another video. But this is like, look, it's so cute. And I asked her to put in this um, quote as well. So they are the beat of my heart, the pulse in my veins and the energy of my soul. They are my kids. So that is what I used and they are really made from a really good quality card um, and they just look like a photo, like they're beautiful. That's it there. And yeah, I absolutely love it. And this photo is a photo that I took when we were in New Zealand in Queenstown. Uh, we were, we had just gotten off a steamboat onto a farm of an island and we were walking up the pathway around the corner where we were, they were doing um, the, the sheepdog herding um, and, and showing us how they do that. And yeah, it was really just really, really good memory. And I just loved it. And they're not looking at the camera, you know, so as well, which is handy. But it was just really, really cute. They were walking together and they were chatting about things and life. It was just like the best. So that is what I've used for their future binder. So as I said, means it means a lot to me what else have i used it i've used it here where it is family is life and this was taken on our holiday in queenstown 
Uh, this is all of the Queenstown around here. And yeah, they were just feeding the swans and the ducks and not feeding them, just looking at them uh, when we first arrived on our first day there. So yeah, it's beautiful. And that just says family. So this is the family binder or the kids binder, I should say. Then where else have I got one? Um, where else did I put one? Oh, she gave me a freebie as well, which is this. So I just put that one at the front, obviously, which looks lovely with the red. Um, I'll just use that as a dashboard. This one. Oh, um, car and travel. So I needed, originally what prompted it is because I needed a something bigger than a normal bookmark to separate the car from the travel. So I asked her to make me this. So this is, I just wanted all different destinations on it with the white lines. Um, and yeah, so this thing gives me that yeah, beautiful travel, which I thought was really cute. And then I've got one at the back a little bit darker. But I love these bright ones here. And I've also got um, this one, financial freedom, another important one. I have this. Now this is a half of a photo that I took when we were driven up the mountain in Queenstown in New Zealand on our family snow holiday we did. And we were driving up um, and we'd just gotten above the mist and the clouds, um, driving up to the snow and there was just, oh, it was beautiful. So I wrote, I picked a quote here that I wanted her to use for me and it's, financial freedom is having your heart and mind free from worry about the what ifs of life. And to me, just to have that freedom, which is why I'm so big on a large emergency fund, so big on having six months of expenses saved for, and to just not have that worry. And that's why that was really important to me. So that is why I've got that in there. So, and I did, I thought I had another one. Was it? Oh, I was in my travel binder. I have to show you another time. But yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. I don't want to go too high. I think that's back to normal. Cool. All right. So now I hope you like those and you saw a little bit of the kitties. I might get a few more as well. So I just, to me, that just made it really more meaningful. Next coin challenge. So we are going to count all the coins that we have and get, not get it all back to the bank yet. When I get it up to a hundred dollars, we'll get it to the bank, get a nice hundred dollar note and get that in the binders so feel free to skip the coin part now if you need to um, to the videos that I hopefully put up the end there <laughs> so I'll sort of do them as I go um, this is a really nice container I had a lady ask me where I got that from that is from um, pillow talk here in Australia um, it was $24.95 don't kind of know what it's made from but it's like that curly it's lightweight it's like that Curly sort of, I don't know what, but I thought it was cute. All right, so $2 on my right hand. So let me just put this across there. All right, so I'll just fill in as I go. And let's just see how much money we add up to, really. All right. Okay, so we'll go. $2. One. I haven't coloured this off yet, but I'll just go over it. I should have more than what I had before anyway. Thanks for um, sticking around, sticking with me, guys. Sorry I had that little break. That won't happen again. 
And I'll go back to my two, three videos a week. Because to be honest, I love checking in and catching up with you guys. The only reason sometimes that I don't is because I actually have to set this up all the time. I don't have a desk to sort of do it. And um, it can get a little bit fiddly. You know, the kids are having a bad night. I might not be able to do it on the night that I was going to. You know, it's a busy life and that's just the way it is. So um, we're working with it. And I feel like I'm doing my best. And that's going to be good enough. All right, another $2 there. Yep. We have finished the bottom third. That's cool. All right, let's do two more twos. Two. Two. You are right, sweetie? You right, darling? It's all right, Daddy's coming. Daddy's coming to help, sweetie. You okay? You all right? Come on. Daddy, tuck you in again. It'll be all right. I love you. Oh, good night, darling. I'll come give you Carla in a second, okay? Oh, I hear her. She probably doesn't know what to do with herself. Poor thing. Quickly do this so I can give her a quick cuddle. Oh, I don't know, it's alright. Um my husband's with her now. Laying with her. Alright, one. Oh now we've got all the silver. I hate silver. What's that? One. No. One. One, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. One, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. One, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. Well, we're kind of a lot done. Forty, sixty, eighty. One. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 65 dollars. That's awesome. 65 bucks. All right. So I'll do that every week um, as we go. And then when we get to 100, I'll get the notes out of the bank and we will cash stuff them. Easy. All right. So I'm going to attempt to add in those videos from the holiday. Um, like I think they were SeaWorld, Movie World. Um, I think that was all I took videos of for you guys. Anyway, enjoy watching those. Uh, and I'll go get to, I've got to do my end of month tally. I've got to do my week four March, week one April. I've got a few things to catch up on. Um, so let's hope my editing works and you get to see some videos. See you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>
truly appreciate and they are perfectly adapted to their underwater environment in every way. When their power is on display, it is nothing short of breathtaking. Yeah. 